Hello there folks, it is TIJ Gaming and welcome back to the Tour de France 2020 Pro Team Career Mode with the TIJ Racing Team. And today it is time for the final part of this year's Criterium de Dauphine. So in today's episode, we will complete stages number 7 and stage 8. So, uh, stage number 6, which we did in the last episode, wasn't terrifically brilliant to be quite honest. As you can see, Gidditch finished 56th, Quintana 57th, a long way behind the front runners, but... We knew that we're not going for the general classification. We weren't too worried and our guys were absolutely spent. So it was no good uh, using all their energy because there are opportunities in the two stages that are left to get some points for the two classifications we're going for. As you can see, there's no chance of us getting the yellow jersey. That's something that we accepted quite a while ago. But we still do lead the best climber class classification with Gidditch. We've got three men in the top seven. So we've got a, a decent amount of leverage on who we pick to go for that jersey. But Gidditch holds it at the moment. And uh, I think Chris Aulis has pretty much guaranteed the points classification. But it wouldn't harm us to go for some of the sprints in the last two stages just to make sure that we don't get any sort of surprises. So today it's time for stage number seven and stage number eight. We're still leading the pro cycling rankings, which is very interesting. If we can keep that lead at the end of this, I very much doubt we will. But if we can win the points and climbing classification, we've got a solid chance. Um, we could well be the top team come the end of the season. But watch this space. We'll have to see how we get on. And uh, whether we completely bottle it in the next three tours that are to come. But anyway, here we go for stage number seven of the Criterium de Dauphine. It'll be a very demanding day for everyone. Several mountain passes and a summit finish await you. This is a key stage for the general classification. It's also important for the mountain standings. It's under threat from other riders, and it'll be important to keep an eye on them. The best solution is to pick up points to consolidate our jersey. We don't have what it takes to play a prominent role. If we want to make a showing, we'll have to join the early breakaway. Good luck, guys! Hello, everyone. Given the difficulties on today's programme, the Col de Charleron, the Grand Coucheron and La Madeleine, plus the Monte de Frasse and the climb to Meribel, there is no doubt that this stage will be important for the general classification, and only a climber can envisage a stage victory. So here we are then for the penultimate stage of the Criterium de Dauphine. Now as you can see, the two Quintana brothers are joined together, which is nice to see. Now, in today's stage, as you can see, Gidditch is not in good condition at all. So he's going to have to take a step back, unfortunately. He's the man who's probably going to lose that polka dot jersey today. But the good news is that we've got two men who are more than willing to go for it. We've got Marder and Quintana, and the aim is for both of those guys to be part of today's breakaway. Now the other objective is fairly obvious, that uh, Gidditch is the one that they want to retain the lead of the mountains classification. But because he's in poor condition, I can't really see him doing anything. So it's going to be Quintana and uh, what's his other name? Marder, who go in the breakaway today. The aim is really to make the most of these first two climbs. You can see it's a very tough stage. And I think we'll definitely fall off the pace, particularly during that highest class climb. So there's, is there 15 points to play for? I think there are 15 points to play for in those first two climbs. If we can get those with someone, then hopefully the points are shared over the next three climbs. That's all we can hope for, but we haven't really got what it takes to go and, and go all the way in today's stage. But we'll try and make the most of the early stages. And if obviously we are in a breakaway, then we'll try uh, and pick up some sprinting points just to try and annul any sort of um, advantage that others might get. But uh, no particular early breakaway. We're going to react to something. I think there's some guys starting to go so we're going to react to that glad we'd look behind us because we can sometimes be caught napping by those accelerations and hopefully uh marder will follow us in fact i'll just get yeah he's got the hint good just tell him to attack because if we've got two guys in the breakaway it always helps it certainly always helps you but uh, it's not long till the first clock all right marder calm down <laughs> just calm down now marder We've got two guys in the breakaway, which is good. Uh, Quintana, Marder, Conrad, Politz, and Stibel. We've got uh, Lander, who was in Captain Goodspeed series. Uh, De Gent and uh, Benut. So some very competent climbers. So it might be tricky. It might be very tricky to get to the top of this list. But as you can see, the first climb starts now. And uh, unless there's any particular drama, I'll see you guys with about five or four or five kilometres to go with the climb. So this breakaway is getting interesting. There's now 14 men in this breakaway, which is really far too much. But we've been told by the sports director not to take any extreme effort now because the peloton might well reel us back in. But uh, as you can see, there's a lot of competent climbers here. So 
Just making sure that our energy management's good because it's a bit of a rare one for climbs, but this is quite a steady climb. You can see that near the end of the climb it gets a little bit tougher, but generally speaking it's an average gradient of about 8% and that doesn't really stop uh, throughout. We'll let that group get away a little bit. I'm not too fussed as long as we can just keep in touch with them. But uh, there's a big 10 points available at the top, so that's going to be really crucial. Nobody, though, in either of these groups has got any points on the mountain classification. So just bear that in mind, that if we can get 10 points with Quintana or uh, Marder here, it would be a really, really good step, because obviously we've got that uh, 13 or 12 points advanced on the rest. So that's really positive. You can see the guys in front are starting to slow down a little bit more now, so we can recover a bit of our energy. But uh, I wouldn't be surprised if there's an attack coming fairly imminently. But uh, 5k to the top. We've come back a bit earlier than planned, so uh, I'll just manage the pace, and I'll probably see you guys with about 3Ks to go to the top. Well, I think Marder's starting to struggle, so we're going to leave him behind a little bit. He might recover, I don't know, but uh, we'll have to see. Let's see. I think, yeah, he's, he's okay. He's still there, but you can see his energy's not great, and we've had to use all of his feed, which isn't ideal. And uh, we're going to have to use about half of Quintana's feed, but... We all know if we're struggling, then everybody else is as well. Goodness me, look at this. This is going to get really tough. But as we know, we've seen it from our days when we did the the uh, Tour de France playthrough with Scott. With I was going to say Sky with uh, Team Ineos. That sometimes it just pays to sit back a bit and watch the guys work in front of you, and then uh, they lose all their energy. But but sometimes you need to be careful that obviously they don't build too much of a gap. I think that was probably the hardest point of the climb. Bear in mind, of course, there are points for the top six. We're in eighth at the moment. Just need to watch that energy. I think we're going to be forced to use all of our all of our blue gel here. You can see that there's two guys here that are going away. They're starting to struggle a little bit. So I think there's definitely a chance for us here. Just play it cool. Again, I don't mind not being in the top three. I can live with that. Just as long as we get some points to keep us ticking over. Need to be careful. Probably need to use the rest of our blue feed now, which we have. But this is the toughest climb of the day that we're looking to compete in anyway, so just bear that in mind. If we get sick, we'll get a point, which is certainly better than nothing. We'd like to get a bit more than that. We'll have to see how the guys ahead get on. She's starting to level out a bit more though now. I think that uh, we're going to struggle to get anything here. More than a point. Come on. We haven't got that much energy left. Just putting a bit of an attack. Come on, we might blow up before the line. We are going to. Oh, no, 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 no. Push our way into fourth. Oh, Port gets away with that massively. We very nearly got fourth there, but uh, we'll take a couple of points. I don't mind that too much. Oh, I'm not too bothered. Uh, unfortunately, Marder started to struggle a little bit, which, you know, it, it's okay. I can understand it. Uh, as you can see, the rest of the guys are, have fallen back, which, again, isn't much of a surprise. But we got two points there, which is better than nothing, I think, with the amount of riders that were in the breakaway. Well, that's a fairly good achievement. Um, and looking at the rest of the day, we've got that second class climb fairly shortly, so we're looking to be uh, a prominent player in that. And then after that, I think we'll just take a bit of a back seat, because realistically, we haven't really got the chance to compete. But if we do better than expected, then I'll certainly change our attack. I've got no problem with that. Well, this is a fast and fierce climb. Only three kilometres, but it gets really tough, as you can see. It's a nasty one throughout. We've not really been able to recover too much energy, but I think the same goes for everyone here. Everyone's going to struggle. We'll have to see how we go here. Only six in this in this breakaway now, so obviously only the top four get points this time, but there's a few less players to contend with, so there's more chance of us getting something here. I think that it was Port, Benut and uh, Evan Apoe who got the, the top points last time, so it'd be good to take some of those off them. Just probably be better to increase the pace of being dropped a little bit by this group but I just need to be careful it's all about energy management and that's one thing I absolutely adore about this game anything can happen and you've just got to be on your on your guard all the time yeah we are dropping back a little bit uncomfortably I'd say now the last kilometre of this climb can't come quick enough for us to put an attack in hmm the trouble is we've got time to make up being here it's not ideal being at the back of the group as you can see, that blue gel is going down rapidly. Nothing we can do about it, though. Hmm. Yeah, we might struggle here. We're hoping for a few guys to blow up, but I can't see it. All these guys are very good climbers. 
nothing we can do here. To be honest. Just hope that these guys slow down a little. It's not going to happen though, I don't think. You can see we've dropped back a bit more now. Yeah, I don't think we're going to get any points here, unfortunately. That's just the way it goes. Try and use a bit of our gel. It's not going to happen though, is it? Not going to have enough to get into this top four. We might do. Come on. Ah. Annoying. Bit too little, too late. And as you can see, the fact that we're just struggling massively just proves how tough these stages are. And I think it might be a bit of a missed chance. But uh, that's the way it goes. Again, we've still got this breakaway. We can recover some energy now. But, I mean, that's a really tough climb coming up. So I, I can't see how we're going to compete in that. I think the, the Peloton will come back to us during that climb, to be quite honest. But... I suppose we've got a few points, it's something, but it's a bit disappointing, but again, we, we were always going to struggle, it's just inevitable. Well, we're at the intermediate sprint, there's a few guys who have got some points here, but I don't think there's anyone really worth worrying about, certainly to catch up to Lawless at this point. As you can see, it's a fairly level pace, which just indicates that, yeah, nobody's really bothered about the sprint, but it'll be a nice amount of 10 points anyway, and we might as well be a bit cheeky and try and go for a few more. Why not? End of the day. Here's the winner of the intermediate sprint. But here we go. The start of this highest class climb. 19 kilometres. Wow. This is going to be absolutely brutal. And I think it's definitely going to be the last point that we play any sort of role today. I can't see us getting to the top without blowing up, to be quite honest. Really can't. And we've let them go again. The new lander port. <sighs> yeah, I just think they're better than us. At the end of the day. And as you can see, we've got absolutely nobody who can help us. We've got Mardra who's a minute and 45 behind. We've then got Gidic who's five minutes behind this group. Again, you come to expect it really with a bit of a weaker team. It's just inevitable. And I think with this highest class climb, if these guys take the points again, it's going to be difficult to see the return of the uh, polka dot jersey for us. Well, you can see the Peloton's caught up now. And... Uh, We've got next to no energy left, so there's just nothing we can do, to be quite honest. There's absolutely nothing we can do. You know, we'll, we'll tell him to persist smoothly, but the damage has already been done. It's inevitable. Uh, the breakaway's over. You know, the top guys are at the front, and that's where they deserve to be. So I think that today uh, you can pretty much call it over. We've got no real chance of doing anything. We got a few points earlier, but again, it's going to be tough to see... Uh, the return of the, the jersey. I guess we just tell all of our guys to persist smoothly till the end of the day. And uh, tomorrow's another day to try and get some points. But it was inevitable that we'd struggle a little bit today. Well, I was wrong. This could well be an opportunity. It's been a long way since uh, the last time I spoke to you guys. All the way back at the start of that highest class climb. I don't actually know who got to the top of that first. So we'll have to check that out. But there's a breakaway of only three guys now. And of course, in these first class climbs, it's the first six who get points. Now, uh, you can see the Peloton's just up ahead. I don't think we've quite got the pace to be with it, but you never know. We've certainly got a lot of energy because we've got uh, a new feed. We've had a lot of downhill zones, but equally, everyone's going to have that energy as well. But we'll have to see how we get on here. We've certainly got a chance to potentially pick up a few more points. Uh, it's doubtful, but it's a chance nonetheless. So I'll update you a little bit further into this climb. So just putting in some good pace here. We are using a lot of our energy, a bit reluctantly, but... I feel like this is the only chance we've got. So we might as well put some energy in. It's still a long way to get to that group in front. So I think we're going to struggle. That's the inevitability, I think, of all day. Being a little bit behind the game. So we always have a bit of catching up to do. But uh, there's certainly a chance. That group's not completely up the road. I just worry that it's only the top three out of that group that get any points. But again, watch this space. There's a few kilometres to go. Things could change. I can't see because if you look at the energy we've got, it's not great. But we might as well start to use a bit of our feed. We've got this climb and then another first class climb at the end of the day. So, you know, for Quintana to be up this high is a credit to him, to be honest. It's it's not too bad at all. You can see we're just starting to piggyback on the back of this group. But it's almost like it's a bit too little too late, really. Unfortunately. And as I said, I can't see the return of that polka dot jersey. But on the bright side, if we take the green jersey out of the Criterium de Dauphine, it's something. 
It's something that maybe wouldn't have been expected. And it would be very tricky to win this polka dot jersey. You can just see from the complexity of the climbs today, it's really the the top guys who rise to the top. That's just inevitable. Try and put a bit more pace in. It's just not going to happen, I don't think. Far too much time to make up to get to the top of this group. But if you look on the bright side, we've uh, got a chance being in this peloton group for potentially competing for the last climb. Again, there's, you know, there's that to it. Apologies about that little break, folks. I had to uh, go for a second. But I'll tell you what, I don't remember blowing up. I don't remember blowing up. I thought we were about 2Ks from the top. Strange. The memory works terribly sometimes. I can't remember where we were. I know we were on this climb, but uh, yeah, I don't remember us blowing up. Well, there you go. We, we haven't got any points out of that, unfortunately. And I think that the group at the front are going to pull away now till the end. So there's not too much we can do, but again, we're, we're, we're in and about the group, which isn't too bad at all. We're in this second group after the, the peloton group of the main runners and riders. So I think we can be fairly pleased with how we've got on today. But uh, yeah, it's just an inevitability really that uh, we were going to start to struggle at this stage. And if we just walk out of this with uh, the green jersey, then that's all we walk out of it with. So here we are then, headed into the final stage of the race. Don't worry, we're not in the second group. That's uh, our brother, Quintana. There are some points available for... I think there's possibly some sprinting points available here. I'm not too sure about that, but I feel like there might be. But uh, yeah, it's, it's not been a bad day. But it's just inevitable that it wasn't really going to happen for us, especially later on. We knew we weren't going to be in with a chance. And uh, I think, to be honest, in terms of the climbing classification, it is uh, pretty much all over for us now. But we might as well... Give it our best. I mean, to be in company with Grant Thomas at this point, he's, he's, he's certainly no... Uh, it's not terrible at the end of the day. You can't moan at that too much. And we're going to finish okay. We're going to blow up before the top because maybe we've gone a bit too early. But uh, the least we're going to finish is in the top 50. So I'll definitely take that at this point. We're going to struggle before the top. So we might drop a few places. But yeah, it's going to be top 40, maybe 41st place. But that's not too bad at all. It's been a fairly decent day. We know that we didn't have our strongest team, so it, it, it's just one of those things, you know, you've got to live with it, you can't win them all, and uh, we crossed the line with our lead rider in 39th place. So the winner of the stage is from Ineos, I'm guessing it's got to be Bernal. Is it Bernal? Yeah, it's Bernal. Well, there you go. Quintana was never going to compete with that, it's just inevitable. We've still got the points classification, unfortunately we have lost out in the best climber classification. And uh, I don't really think we're going to have any chance of getting that back. But as I said, if we walk out with the green jersey, I'm more than happy. I think we probably mathematically won that now. But uh, not a bad day for Quintana. Can't complain with that at all. It's just one of those things that sometimes you can't win them all. Uh, you can see in the best climber class, yeah, we're, we're not going to gain that many points. Bernal's had a fantastic day, to be honest. 20-odd points in the climbs. And we're not going to catch that. It's just inevitable. But as you can see, we've got an 80-point gap in the points classification. I think we've pretty much got that one sorted, haven't we? It's the final stage, guys. Today's route is hilly and a leg breaker. Perfect for attacking, which should suit the punches. We cannot now lose our lead of the points classification. Good job, guys. You've done well. We're not amongst the favourites for the stage. But there are ways to surprise the favourites and pull off a good result by attacking from far out. Good race to you all! Hello, cycling fans everywhere. There's a short stage in today's menu. Short, but not sweet. Climbs will come in quick succession, and there will be plenty of opportunities to attack. So here we are then for the final stage of the Crime Team de Dauphin. It's a bit of a, a nullified one today, a bit of a a naff one, if you like, but we have got the green jersey with Lawless. Oh dear, we're being pushed out a bit, but uh, we're not going to lose that today. There's, I think, 70 points to maximum on today. Even, say, 80 if that middle one is um, worth a few points, if it's worth 30 points. So, we're going to have to be quite poor today to lose that green jersey. There is an attack going on, and you know what? Hell with it. We might as well just go with it. You know, it, it's, it's very much a freak chance, but <laughs> we could still get the polka dot jersey. I don't much doubt it, but I guess you just never know. The top two get points uh, on this climb. So I think we've been caught napping a little bit, unfortunately. I don't think that uh, 
we're going to be able to catch Yates and Martin at the top of the climb. But it's been a decent tour, considering the team that we've selected. Considering that we didn't have the strongest team, we've select, we've um, not selected. Well, we've selected a weak team, I think, and. Many of our main guys, Van Baal, Meduus and Gagenhart, have sat this one out to, to get ready for the Tour de France. Considering that those guys have sat it out, of course, Ben Swift as well. We've seen the uh, brilliance of uh, Chris Lawless. Quintana certainly a competitor. Gidic hasn't been too bad either. There's a little bit of Deadwood in the team. I, I think that uh, the likes of McClay are pretty poor. Jacobs hasn't been particularly good in this tour, but it's a very tough tour. So given that... We've not picked our strongest teams. Come out of this with a jersey would be a very, very good achievement. I don't think we're going to catch up to these guys before we get to the top, but uh, we might as well pump some energy out. Again, we've uh, got a bit of a reprieve before we get onto the next climb. Plus the fact we've got absolutely nothing to lose, so why not? Let's go for it. That Spaniard needs to get out of the way. Thank you. Very nearly ran her over then. Tell you what, we could do this. I don't see it, but I guess you just never know. Those guys starting to slow down slightly. I don't think we've quite got the pace. Probably use a bit of our gel here just to improve things. Put a bit of pace in. Yeah, it's just a bit too far away. So all of that energy for nothing, eh? But I suppose, I mean, we've got in a breakaway and you can't uh, devalue that too much. We've, we've got in a massive breakaway. The Peloton's a long, long way back, nearly three minutes back. So... You know, there's a chance to get some points here, and we might not win the jersey, but we've got absolutely nothing to lose. So it looks like we could finish in a sprint today, but uh, the climbs come thick and fast. There's now seven of us in this breakaway. There's another five points up for grabs at the top of this climb. We didn't get any last time, obviously, but uh, Giddish has got 19 points. Now, Banal has got how many? 35. So I mean, we, we can at least finish second. In the climbing classification. If we end up the bridesmaid. I certainly don't mind that. But there's two. Uh, sorry. There's a third class climb after this. So. If we can get seven points. Out of those two climbs. With Gidditch. Then. You know. To hell with it. We might as well. Give it a go. Because uh, you know. There might be a, a freak incident. Where we, where we get a few more points. Than we thought we were going to get. And we end up getting the polka dot jersey. I very much doubt that. But again. You've got to be in it to win it. So this is where the climb starts to get hard. You can see it's been fairly level so far. But uh, this is where the tough bits start. But we've got quite a bit of energy, so it's not going to be too bad. Apparently Solaire is the best uh, puncher in the breakaway. He's with the movie star team. He's got his teammate Mass in the... It's not. I don't think it is the movie star team. I think MTS is the movie star team. Could be wrong. But uh, one kilometre to go. Again, a big five points if we can get them here. I think if we don't get them, we can call any sort of freak chance of winning the climbing classification completely over. But uh, I guess you just never know. Again, it's it's worth going for. It's worth having a go. Because if you don't have a go, you never know what might come. But a uh, bit of good pace from Giddich here. The finish of this isn't too far away. Need to push Dillier out here. No! Yes, five points for Giddich. Oof. Bit worried then. But uh, five points, again, we'll tag that. Probably need to use a bit more of our gel, because the next climb does come thick and fast. There's no reprieve. But again, we've got a big breakaway here. There's certainly a, a chance to do something. We've got five clay Ks, you can see, coming up till the next climb. Again, why not? Let's go for it. So this climb doesn't have too much difficulty. Again, pretty much two or three kilometres after the last climb. Only two points available though here, of course, because it isn't the toughest of climbs. But uh, I feel like these guys will go for it. Again, another two points here. Seven to our total. It'll make things interesting. And if you look, yes, there's a first class climb to come. But it's a long gap for the Peloton to, to reclaw. So, again, it'll be interesting. It'll be interesting to see how we get on. We've certainly got a chance. I can see nobody here going for the general classification. I think that's pretty much all over. Um... But yeah, 2k is still the top. Let's see how we get on. Just setting a nice even pace. Not using too much energy at the moment. Nobody is using any energy particularly. They're just all following us. But if we can get a good amount of a head start, then we've got another chance to take another few points. As long as we finish in the top two here, we'll get some points. That's all that matters. So as you can see, there's the line. The summit at one kilometre. 
Nice sponsorship with Cyanide Studio. I wonder how they got that. <laughs> right, okay. 0.8 Ks to go. Might be time just to go now. I think we're going to struggle a little bit here. We might have gone a bit early. Bit of a wider road, this. We're going to struggle to... Ah, it's not going to happen this time. Saying that, come on, come on. No, no. Mm, shame. Yeah, we went a bit early there. We went a bit early. So, uh, I think we'll work with our opponents and do some following for now. Long time, though, till the next climb, but it's a brutal one, as you can see. So, again, I can't see us doing much, but as I said, you never know. It's always worth being in with a shout. So, here we are at the start of the Col de Courbière. Seven kilometres, this one is. But again, we've, we've done the same old stupid thing of, of falling behind. I don't know how this happens. I know we follow and don't override, so I think that's probably why it happens, that when the climbs start, and obviously those guys go for it a bit more, we tend to drop back. So that might be something in the future we need to watch out for, so we don't lose any unnecessary pace, because the trouble is we're going to have to work quite hard now to make up that 20 seconds. But, uh, yeah, there's definitely a chance here. A little bit annoying that we lost that pace, because I have to work quite hard now to catch those guys up, and they're not setting a small pace. You can see we're really going for it and not really making any inroads, so that's very annoying that we were caught napping there, because it's just meant that our our uh, pace has to be better than those guys ahead. We have to work at it, and uh, yeah, I can't see us doing it now, so that's our own fault, to be honest, that we didn't uh, stay with the group ahead. We have got a full feed coming after this though, so we can utilise the majority of that. We're not too far from this group, but again, it just doesn't seem like worth putting the maximum amount of energy in. And, well, again, those guys are putting in some good pace now, so it's our own fault. There's only one person to blame. But uh, those guys start to struggle a bit. Remember, there are points for the top six here, so if we can gain one place from somebody who might start to struggle... We'll get some points. But if we can get 10 points here, again, it's it's really a chance. And the likes of Banal might have to watch out a bit. We'll have... Uh, we've got five points previously, so what's that? 33. What's Banal on? Let's have a butcher's. Was I taking the points then? I think I was. I was taking the points classification. So we were on 19. We're on 24 now getting the 5 earlier. So we're 11 behind. So if we can win this, it uh, only puts us... Well, how many points will that be? One behind Bernal. Surely. That's right, isn't it? Not at 24. Yeah, one point behind Bernal. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Well, we are in the top 6 now. So we'll get something out of this, which is encouraging. Still got a bit of feed left, so we might as well use that a little bit later. And certainly that blue feed, because we've got a bit of energy to to use beforehand. Just hoping these guys start to struggle. I can't see it. You know, if we could get 10 points, it'd be brilliant. But again, I can't see it. But we can pick up a few here. That's not going to hurt our cause. I just feel it might be a bit of a bigger opportunity missed if we don't get the maximum here. But there's not much you can do about it, unfortunately, if not. So just over a kilometre to go here. Might as well use the rest of our blue feed. Put a bit more energy in now. Try and catch this group ahead. If we can get six points, that would be great. Let's see how we get on again. Someone might blow up before the top. It might give us a bit of an opportunity. Let's see. Half a kilometre to go pretty much now. We're not going to catch that top two, but the guys ahead. We could pounce and beat them. Let's see. Yeah, we've not got much energy left, so I think we might have to be confined to fifth at this point, but you never know. Let's see. Give ourselves a chance. Yeah, it's not going to happen. We're not going to gain that much, are we? No. Yeah. I feel like that's an opportunity missed for us, that is. Really big opportunity missed. We wouldn't have had to do so much work to catch up the guys in front if we hadn't have uh, buggered about at the start of the climb. But these things happen. Can't do too much about it. I think that's our best opportunity gone. We've got a sprint coming soon. Uh, then we've got a third class climb, etc. So, I think that it might be mathematical. Well, there's a first class climb, actually. But I think the peloton will have caught up by then. We'll have to see, though. But I have to say that uh, this stage has been a lot more exciting than I thought it would have been. Opportunity to recall that only the 
So we've got the intermediate sprint you can see now. None of the guys uh, here are really going to bother us too much. But obviously just to keep with the guys ahead it would be good to go for this. And uh, because none of these guys can beat Lawless. And if they attack some points now I think Lawless is officially the man who wins the classification. But another 15 points for Giddich. We're not going to complain about that whatsoever. We catch up very quickly to the guys again. Again follow down over Tyre. Did uh, Marder get any points there? Nice to see he's still in that main group, actually. Likes of Quintana struggling and dropping back a little bit now. But Bernal is, is creeping up, so... Again, it's a shame. If we'd have got some points earlier, we might well have had a chance. But that's the way it goes. That's the way the cookie crumbles. Chance to get another two points now. No, we got two early, didn't we? So we're on... We were on, t yeah, 26 we're on now. So nine behind Bernal. If we can get another two now, we might have a chance. I can't see it, but... What's the harm in giving ourselves potentially? Again, we've done it again. I mean, it's not too bad. We're only eight seconds back, but we've done it again. We're giving ourselves too much work to do on these climbs. So coming close to the top of this climb now, we're not going to be threatened by the guys behind, but I think this will be the last chance to get some points. We've still got a decent amount of energy, though. We're not looking too bad. I don't think we'll be able to compete with the banals of this world, though, unfortunately. Nice British flag there. So one kilometre to all the top. I think Adam Yates is a Brit. In fact, I'm sure he is. So, not the most amount of energy left, which is an idea. We're going to take a bit more of our feed. So half a kilometre now to all the top. Starts to level out a bit more now. They've all gone for it. Come on, we need that line to come thick and fast. Ah, just a single point, but uh, again, we'll take it. We'll take it, I suppose. I can't believe we've blown up. Christ. Have we got it? Yeah, we've got a bit of a reprieve now. But only 35 kilometres to go. Again, I can't see us having much of a chance. But let's see what happens. Well, this is interesting. Look at that. They were starting to catch up massively. The guys in that second group. And uh, now, Bernal and that group is three minutes back. Bear in mind, there's a first class climb coming up. So, there's 12 points to play for. Now, we've got 25 points. I mean, this is the problem, isn't it, really? I think it's 25 points we've got with that point we got just. If we can take maximum points here, and obviously Bernal's a long way back. I can't see them catching that amount in this amount of kilometres. We could genuinely have a chance at getting this polka dot jersey. If only we'd have realised that earlier. Hmm, interesting. Let's see how we go. So a tough climb here. Not the toughest, but certainly a tough climb. 7.3 kilometres at exactly the same average gradient, funnily enough. The only thing that's going to set us back here, I think, to not getting those 10 points, is that we haven't got a particularly good amount of feed left. And again, we've gone off the back of that group. So we're going to have to work a bit harder to get back up to them. I think we're just going to try and follow till we get to the top again. I can't see that the peloton's going to catch up before the end now. So we could end up with a stage win. That will help us in the pro cycling rankings. But these guys are no fools. You know, if, if one of these guys had done well in the climbing standings before, they might have had an opportunity at winning the, the whole thing in terms of the polka dot jersey. But for us to have any chance now... We've got to get, well, we've got to get the maximum number of points, haven't we? We've got 25 as it stands. We need 11 to beat him. So we pretty much need the maximum. This is going to be tough. But this is the toughest stage here. As you can see with the gradient at about 9%. Starts to get a bit easier after this. The other guys will be feeling it as well. There are two points available. I forgot all about that. There are two points available for the group behind. So if um, Bernal gets into that group, there's a possibility that we might not be able to do anything about this. Probably need to use the rest of our feed here, unfortunately. The guy's starting to pull away slightly now. We can't do much about this, but we have got out of the toughest section. Yeah, I don't think we're going to be able to live with these three. I think it might be all hopes of a potential 
uh, climbing classification gone up the wall. But, uh, yeah, we, you know, we've given ourselves a chance. You can't really complain at that too much. We're certainly going to pick up four points, I would say. Just a shame it's not going to be any more than that. I guess those guys at the front might blow up completely. I don't know. But I can't see it. So... It's just one of those, isn't it? We, we weren't really going to have a chance at winning the the polka dot jersey, but it was a slim hope. You just never know with these things, do you? So I'll see you guys at the top of the climb. There's no point watching us ride at a slow pace for the next few minutes. The breakaway is managing to hold off the peloton. The gap seems to have stabilised. So here we are at the top of the climb. The Peloton's fairly close to us now because we've conserved some energy. Another four points there. Can't complain at that too much. Just 11 kilometres to go now and uh, most of that will be this uh, downward decline. Well, you don't have an upward decline, do you, I suppose? But <laughs> no points for Banal there. But as I said, there's nothing we can do now to catch him. But we've done a pretty good job. You know, we've done all we can do with the resources we've had. And uh, we will win the green jersey, so that's one thing. We pretty much made sure that was done in the first few stages. And nobody has lived with us. So credit to Lawless. He's been the best, the best sprinter. And we're going to walk out of this at least with something. So we enter the final few kilometres. I think we're not going to be able to live with this group till the end. Just one of them things really that uh, those guys have conserved their energy till the end. I don't think they're going to catch the guys at the front to be brutally honest. But for Gidditch to be in this group, it, again it's a real credit to him. He's done well. Done really well today. And I've thoroughly enjoyed the cry team to Dauphine. Of course next it's the biggie. The Tour de France. Which will start next Tuesday on the channel. With the first stage. Where else do you start? <laughs> but, uh, yeah, there's uh, the three guys at the front. They're going to win the stage. But we're going to finish fairly well. Mm. So just over a kilometre to go now, this cry team to Dauphine. I thoroughly enjoyed it. I hope you guys have as well. It's not going to be a yellow jersey, but, again, as I said, you can't win them all. You can't win them all, ladies and gents. So the final kilometre, again a lot of riders starting to struggle which just highlights how tricky this is. But unless there's a complete disaster at the end we are going to win the green jersey. Adam Yates wins the stage, that breakaway from the start has proved to have been very good. But uh, yeah it's just one of them things, we might as well just go for it now. Oh god is that the one kilometre line? No it's not, well we're going to blow up before the top, oh well doesn't really matter. As you can see, these guys aren't putting too much more energy in. It's so annoying we could improve our placing, but uh, Gidditch finishes 29th. I'll definitely take that. Oh, crap. We're not done yet. Hey, there's half a kilometre to go. I thought there was a kilometre to go. I was about to say. Yeah. I hope nobody else behind is going to be able to catch us up. Yeah, there we go. Okay, it's a bit later than I thought, but we're finishing 29th nonetheless. Can't complain at that. And I said, despite unless there's a complete disaster, we should have the green jersey. So here we are, ladies and gents, for the final results of the Cry Team of the Dauphine. Adam Yates wins the stage for the Michelton Scott team. Well deserved. The man who wins it is not Bernal. I'm guessing that's Pogacar. It is, it's Pogacar. Fair play to him. But we win the points classification. We take away a jersey. As I said, Lawless did his work early on, but he did really well in the early sprints. And he takes away the green jersey. A brilliant effort. Really good. And, uh, yeah, Bernal takes away the best climber classification. That final stage we saw, stage number seven. Well, not the final stage, but the penultimate stage really decided it. And Bernal did a fantastic job. And uh, Pogacar, of course, the best young rider. But uh, a good criteria to Dauphine. Thoroughly enjoyed it. And, of course, we get an achievement for completing the event for the first time. So, uh, great stuff. Really is. We'll get some solid points for winning the points classification as well. For the pro cycling rankings. And Lawless just keeps moving up. You'll see uh, our top rider finish 43rd in the end. Lawless winning it by 70 points. A fantastic effort. 
and Lawless gets another 15 points in the climbing classification. Uh, not the climbing classification, sorry, the pro cycling rankings. Falling off to sleep there, but again, another 15 points. We'll take that, and it's been a good tournament. We've done well. So, oh, the biggie. The Tour de France comes up next. Uh, doesn't look like Swift is in the best of condition, which is a little bit of a shame, but I don't think I'll look to change that team too much. I think I'll just swap either McClay or Athene out for Ben Swift, but I'm really excited for this. The Tour de France, it starts on Tuesday. If you're looking forward to that, please leave a like down below, comment your thoughts as well, and subscribe for regular Tour de France content, and it will actually be the Tour de France this time on a Tuesday, Thursday, and a Saturday. Thank you for your company today, folks, and I will see you guys later. Goodbye for now.